glass A contains 100 ml of water and we have glass B that contains 100 ml of juice. So now first we will transfer 10 ml of juice from B as per the question. So after transferring 10 ml of juice from B, the glass B, what will happen? And glass A We already have 100 ml of water and so already we have 100 ml of water plus 10 ml of juice which we have transferred from B. So now what is happening in A what is there now 110 ml of mixture. Similarly now, glass B that has already it had 100 ml of juice but since it has transferred 10 ml you are left with 100 minus 10 that will give us 90 ml of juice. This is the quantity now present in A and B. Now what is given? We have to transfer 10 ml from A. So what there is a mixture. 10 ml of mixture we have to transfer from A to B. So first of all we need to know in 10 ml mixture how much is water and how much is juice. How do we calculate that? So 10 ml mixture will contain first we calculate how much water that is. 10 into 100 upon 110. 100 is water, 110 is the total quantity. So 10 will have this much water. Plus, we have 10 into 10 upon 110. Juice is 10. So 10 upon 110 ml of juice. Now this gives us 100 upon 11 ml of water. And 10 upon 11 ml of juice. This is the quantity of 10 ml mixture. This quantity is transferred to B. And B we know we only have juice. So when you transfer this quantity, the one which does not go, what is left in A? Mixture left in A will be total we have. 100 water and 10 of juice. So from water we will subtract water, from juice we will subtract juice quantity. So water is 100, so 100 minus 100 upon 11 of water. And similarly, and the juice quantity also from 10 we will subtract juice quantity. So from 10 we are subtracting 10 upon 11 of juice. This will be the quantity that is left in A now. So water becomes how much now? So we subtract we get 1000 upon 11 of water will remain and juice subtraction will give us 100 upon 11. So this is the quantity. So finally we can say 1000 upon 11 ml of water plus 100 upon 11 ml of juice. So this is the quantity that is left in A. At the same time 
the 10 ml mixture which has gone in B now. So mixture means we have written the breakup of water and juice. The mixture breakup. So juice will get added to the juice now. So 90 ml which was left earlier, will we will add 10 upon 11 of juice and 100 upon 11 of water, which will remain as it. 100 upon 11 ml of water. Now water you cannot add to juice, so we have to write it separately. The addition of juice 90 plus 10 upon 11 that will again give us 1000 ml of juice and plus 100 upon 11 of water. So what do we find here? The juice quantity in A, the quantity of juice, that is the amount of juice in A is the same as the amount of water in juice. The amount of juice in A is the same as the amount of water in B. And that is how much? That is 100 upon 11 